going to have my first meal today and honestly, I'm not really excited to eat um, and I don't really feel like cooking. I think it's because I reached the limit of like making myself vegan meals with the ingredients that I have at home. I don't know. So yeah, I don't really feel like eating, but I should. I know I should. So I am kind of not forcing myself, but trying to eat. Uh, so I have these spring roll salad bowls from Sprout and I'm gonna actually make spring rolls with the ingredients inside Because uh, there's like a lot of different vegetables in here and they also have some vermicelli noodles Here's my spring roll and I realized that they're not vermicelli noodles. I think they're just regular rice noodles Oh, thank God. Prepare for takeoff. All right <laughs> Time to take off. I swear I'm not Today I got a uh, food delivered for dinner from a place called Sweet Balance. I got the tempeh fries with some rice, vegetables, balsamic sauce, vegan tofu cheese, kale hummus, and sweet potato and avocado. There's a lot in there, but this looks really good. Whoa. This portion is really big. Good afternoon. It is Saturday and it's already 2, but I haven't eaten anything uh, because I wasn't really hungry, which is strange. But I guess the dinner I had last night was really filling. But anyways, um, I think it's about time that I should eat. So I'm going to prepare my lunch. I'm going to be uh, making kimchi fried rice today with my vegan kimchi, brown rice, and some veggies. Uh, I'm really excited for this. Mm. Mm. Of course, again, it'd be perfect if there was an over easy egg on top, but <sighs> it's dinner time. It's 7.20. I actually ordered vegan Thai food from the Song Thai place that I went in the first uh, vegan challenge video. I wanted the Pad Thai so badly again, so I ordered it. But I guess they're really busy right now, so it's going to take 105 minutes for it to get delivered. So I am going to drink chocolate milk because I don't think I could wait another hour. I should have ordered it in advance but I just got so distracted with editing and I didn't even know the time was this late already. Okay, that came sooner than I expected. Now I'm kind of regretting drinking that almond milk. They wrote me a note too. Saying like thank you for ordering and be healthy and strong and how they don't use plastic for the environment cute they gave me some rice cracker snacks it did come in something that looks like plastic bag but it is not plastic bag like it says here i am not plastic i am in my bedroom because i'm gonna watch a movie while eating for once hopefully i don't spill on my bed it also comes with vegan pad thai sauce Lime it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. I'm gonna watch Before Sunset because I only watched Before Sunrise. Going to begin my movie and also eat my dinner. That's not important. It's all happening all the time. Just made my go to breakfast whole wheat bagels with peanut butter and slices of apple.
let's taste this matcha latte, vegan matcha latte with soy milk. Mm. Oh my god, the chocolate is so rich and sweet. <laughs> what? Try the yuzang. Holy. Feels like it tastes like I'm eating the actual fruit. You won't like it? So. So? You mean so? It's yeah. sour? Yeah. Yes. Oh my god, it's so good. I love it. Try this veggie ramen. I don't even like ramen, but just the fact that this is vegan made me want to try it. And I guess I need it because it's good hangover cure. I'm gonna try the soup. You know what? This kind of tastes like salongtang because it's not spicy at all and I like that because I don't really like spicy food. This is like almost 500 calories though. Uh, but I guess it's okay because I'm eating it for breakfast. Mm. Kind of killed it. Eating this burrito bowl from Sprout. I don't like lunch slash snack all right it's time for a quick dinner before i go to radio so i already have some of the veggies cut up i'm just gonna put them in the frying pan one by one i feel like potatoes are gonna take the longest so i'm gonna put the potatoes in first Honestly, didn't have too much appetite, but only ate because I felt like I had to or else I would starve. This is like bringing my appetite back to life. Mm. I am now home from radio. Feeling a little, little hungry, so... Just gonna drink my favorite chocolate almond milk. I know in the last vlog, I mentioned that I didn't like the oatmeal, but I'm gonna give it another try. Uh, I saw a lot of your comments. Uh, you guys advised me to add more fruits and add milk to it instead of water to make it taste better. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I don't have regular almond or oat milk, so I'm gonna use chocolate almond milk. That's definitely gonna be good, right? I mean, chocolate milk with anything. It made the banana pancakes good, so I'm guessing it's gonna make the oatmeal taste good too. The only fruits I have are blueberries, and they're frozen blueberries too, so I'm just gonna add it. It's a lot better than the first time. I guess you do need to add like a lot of fruits for it to taste better. But the fruit gets hot because the oatmeal is hot. 
So it's kind of weird. It literally tastes like chocolate juke or chocolate porridge. But how do people eat this every day though? I don't know. I just feel like I'm not like an oatmeal kind of girl. I love cereal. I love granola, but... Oh my god, I'm so hungry. We just have a quick break, so I'm eating this black bean rice chip. I'm starving. We're done with the podcast now, finally. And I came to eat dinner at Root. I missed their avocado roll so much, so I'm gonna get that. got home from radio and I got my new sprout meals in the mail today and I think this is like a quesadilla mm. for brunch I'm having the poke bowl from sprout and also this teriyaki bowl of some steamed vegetables and rice that's a lot my favorite salad because it's got sweet potato in it uh i'm about to have a snack avocados and seaweed yes so beautiful look at that This week has been quite hectic for me. I wasn't really able to eat properly. As you saw, I was just like eating sweet potato snacks in between and having like a quick salad for dinner. I really do wish I had more time to eat during the day. Once I leave my house, it's just kind of like hectic. So I've been watching a lot of videos on veganism and videos on ex-vegans. And so it's really interesting to watch these videos and hear um different people's stories it just shows that like veganism isn't for everyone and you gotta listen to your body so tomorrow is the last day and once i'm done with tomorrow i guess i'll you know have the final part of the video where i talk about like the pros and cons of being a vegan in Seoul, what I struggled with or what i really liked for now i'm enjoying my late night snacks You changed my life so, so I'm home from my yoga class. It was the first yoga class I went to this week. Not too proud of that, but um, I wore these new leggings and top from Jing or J I N G. I don't really know how to say their brand name, but the top is really cute because of the way it's cut out in the back. And also, these leggings are super comfortable as well. Yeah, so if you guys are in search for new leggings, go check them out and I will leave the discount code here so you can use it. Super stretchy, not sponsored, but I have the discount code so just wanted to share with you guys. And I don't get commission off of that, just to clarify. So it's time to make lunch and I honestly don't know what to make. I didn't have time to go grocery shopping this week either, so there's not much I can make, I think. I'll wing it like I always do. All right, I'm making spring rolls again. Some of you guys were asking me if my videos were sponsored by Sprout. I'm not sponsored by them, but they're the ones who challenged me to do this. So they send me one meal a day. And thank God for that because I am such a noob when it comes to cooking, especially vegan food, so. I don't know whether to call it spring roll or summer roll because I grew up in New York and whenever I went to eat pho, 
the spring rolls were the fried ones and the summer rolls were the ones in rice paper with all the veggies so i call it summer roll but then on the salad bowl it says spring roll i guess it depends on where you live all right i'm done i got five pieces of spring roll or summer roll whatever you want to call it i'm probably gonna have something else on top of this after because this is not gonna fill me up i got my spring roll sauce aka peanut sauce and i have my sweet chili sauce too i'm also gonna pop in this quesadilla in the air fryer and heat it up <laughs> time to make sweet potato chips So for the potato chips, I used olive oil and salt and for the sweet potato chips, I used coconut oil and added some sugar. Mm, yummy! Oh my gosh, it looks so delicious. Taste test! I like it better than the potato chips and those are really good too oh my god how are you gonna eat this all guys uh, please make this it's so good i guess this is my snack for today for dinner today i brought burrito from sprout it's huge just got home from radio and guess what i'm having another late night snack I bought some unsweetened almond milk. I'm gonna have this with my chocolate granola cereal. Always put cereal first, guys, okay? Do so not put the milk in first. The milk is turning brown. Alright guys, so my 30 day challenge is over and I wanted to talk about the pros and cons of being a vegan in Seoul. A lot of you guys requested for this as well and I just wanted to share my own personal opinions. So what is it like being a vegan in Seoul? And of course, I'm only talking about the diet aspect of being a vegan, not the entire lifestyle like I mentioned in the first part of the video. This was the first time challenging myself to be a vegan and I said I was just gonna take baby steps and and just do the easiest step which is the vegan diet now let's talk about the pros the biggest benefit of vegan diet i think was for me not having indigestion and not having constipation so i shared in the first video that i kind of suffer from constipation and i would get indigested at least once or twice a week i would have to be careful of what i eat and i would have to be conscious of what kind of food i'm eating just because my stomach is kind of sensitive and weak but on the vegan diet for the 30 days i never had indigestion i never had constipation which is like amazing and of course i didn't go on the vegan diet for the aesthetics so i didn't really measure myself or take body pics to see how much weight i lost but i did see that i lost some stubborn gut fat i mean i didn't lose weight like in the face that was drastically noticeable but i felt like the gut which is like the hardest part for me to lose weight in shrunk so that was quite a surprise and the small choices that i make in what i eat and what i consume what i buy just knowing that it can impact the environment in a positive way made me proud and made me happy i normally don't cook at home very often but during the 30 days i tried experimenting with different food and i tried to make different dishes that i never did before so i feel like i got a lot of practice with cooking and learned a lot in the process i thought it was a little bit harder to be a vegan in seoul compared to the states veganism is still something that's kind of new here only the people that know about it know about it when i uploaded my first video on the vegan diet there were some comments in korean asking what a vegan was so yeah it's that new here still and i'm not trying to bash on them for not knowing about it it's just something that we grow up with since we're young all we know is 
eating meat and it's just so embedded in our culture and lifestyle that not a lot of people think about it and not a lot of people find out about it unless they know a friend who's a vegan or they happen to watch a video on veganism so because it is still pretty new here if you just go to regular marts they don't have a lot of vegan options so it was kind of hard for me to find ingredients to make vegan food because i would either have to get them shipped from overseas and shop online another thing about vegan ingredients is that it's just a little more expensive here and the social aspect of it i kind of felt bad for my friends because whenever we would meet up i would ask them to go eat vegan food with me all of my friends were good sports about it but let's say it's like someone that i'm meeting for the first time i don't know maybe it's like a business meeting i would feel bad to like tell them oh like i'm vegan we have to go to a vegan spot because there are only a limited number of spots that are vegan in Seoul. Being a vegan means cooking more, which means investing more time into making your own food. And on top of that, vegan ingredients being a little more expensive, I know not everyone has the luxury of time or money to invest more into their food. If you think about it in a positive way, then yeah, you want to eat things that are good for your body, right? But I know not everyone things like that because not everyone can afford to think like that and i kind of felt hungry often but this is probably me because i just didn't have enough time in the middle of the day to eat like a proper meal so i would just have simple quick meals which led to me getting hungry much more often than usual so that was kind of annoying just to feel hunger and to feel my stomach growling every few hours and i saw a lot of your comments uh, telling me to eat more protein and eat more because i am not eating enough in a day and i completely understand it's just like my schedule is so irregular and i can't commit to eating proper foods for all three meals so the final question is am i going to stay vegan after 30 days unfortunately no i really enjoyed my 30 days and it wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. It was only a bit easier because I had those meals delivered from Sprout. If I were to stay vegan, I think I would have to apply for like a vegan food delivery service just because I don't always have the time to cook and make myself food. So that's a commitment that I don't know if I can make right now. I did promise myself that I would have at least one plant-based food a day just because I saw the benefits it had for my gut and my stomach and my digestive system and that is something that I don't want to throw away. And if there are vegan options at the restaurant I go to, I am going to get the vegan options. I think that is something that I'm going to incorporate into my lifestyle from now on thanks to this challenge. So I think that is all I have to share about being a vegan in Seoul for 30 days. I might have missed something and I might add it while I'm editing but for now um, yes this is all thank you for joining me on this 30-day journey and I hope this has encouraged you guys to cook a little more and maybe I will continue to do the what I eat in a week just to show you guys how I'm keeping up with this lifestyle but yes thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye